Hello grade 7. So this week we are starting with a completely new concept. Chapter 7, Electrical Circuits. So yes, we're starting with electricity. So the objectives that we're going to cover during this week's lecture is that you guys will be able to identify the constituents of a lamp you will be able to identify a battery as a source of electrical current and you'll be able to turn on a lamp. So yeah, let's start. Okay, so we are starting with the incandescent lamp, which is this lamp right here. Now, you guys, it is basically a light bulb. We have it in our homes. But just a note that not all light bulbs are incandescent lamps. So this is why you have to know its components to tell whether the light bulb you have in your room is incandescent lamp or not. Starting with the shell, okay, it is called the glass bulb because it is made up of a glass and yeah. Now you have this wire right here. We call it a filament wire. Okay, so this is called a filament. You guys can see this is the wire. It is a very thin wire. And then you have this part right here. It is called the base or the cap. And then you have this black part. We call it a black glass. And then you have the last part right here. It is called the central pin or the pod. Okay, so now the filament that you see right here, it has two extremities. This is the first one and this is the second one. So if you were to follow the first extremity, you would see, like if we were to cut this incandescent lamp in half, you would see that this extremity is connected to the cap. Okay, so it is connected to this base. And if you were to follow the other extremity, you would see that it is connected to the pad. Okay, so these are the two extremities connected to the cap and to the pad. So a lamp, an incandescent lamp has two extremities, the cap, and the pods, and they are connected to the two extremities of the filament. Now, this incandescent lamp produces light by heating the filament wire. So, it heats the filament wire to a very high temperature until it glows, just like that. Okay, and this is an incandescent lamp. So, as a conclusion, you guys have to know the different parts of the incandescent lamp, okay, and how to label it. And you guys have to know that a lamp has two extremities, the cap and the pad. Now, moving on to uh, batteries. So, batteries or dry cells, okay, so they are not something new. You guys have seen batteries before. You can find them in your remote control at your home. So it is not something new, but we're gonna be talking about two types of batteries here. The first one is called a square battery, which basically looks like this. Now this one is not very common, okay? You guys may have seen it before, but it's not like something we use like in our everyday lives, okay? But it's okay to actually like get to know this type of battery. So you can see I have two like metallic surfaces, okay? So these two metallic surfaces, uh, one you can see is longer than the other. And this one, there is a minus sign, okay? Which is called the negative pole. And this one, it has a positive sign, which is called the positive pole. Okay, now guys, these are found in your books, page 70. All right, so let's start. Observe the square battery. 
What are the labels on the battery? So the labels are the negative pole and the positive pole. Okay, so these are the labels that we have on the battery. Are both pole metallic surfaces equal in length? You guys can see the surfaces, the metallic surfaces, are they equal in length? No, they have different lengths. Indicate for each of the two pole metallic surfaces the appropriate sign. So the negative pole, the longer, let's say the longer surface has a negative sign and the shorter one has a positive sign. Okay, so the long metallic surface is negative and the short metallic surface is positive. Now it says observe the round battery. This battery has a head and a base. Guys, this is the round battery. Okay, this one is found in your TV remote control, in the AC remote control. Okay, so we've seen this a lot. Now we're going to get to know it more. So it has a head. So this part is called the head and it has a base. Okay, so the head, you guys can see the sign written next to the head and the sign written next to the base. And this is called a round battery. So what are the labels on this battery? So what are the labels? I have a positive pole and a negative pole, same as the square battery. Indicate the appropriate sign on each of the two extremities of the battery. So the head is positive and the base is simply negative. Okay. And yeah, so head is positive and base is negative. So we just learned that a battery has two poles, the positive and the negative. Even if we are dealing with a square battery or a round battery, same thing, positive and negative pole. Okay, so let's see what, what do we have here. It says use electrical wires to connect the two poles of a, of a small electrical motor to the two poles of the battery. So this is called an electrical motor. It's a motor and you guys can see we have a little fan connected to it. Okay, so once we connect it to the battery, most probably it will start rotating. And these are the two wires connected to the two poles of the motor and they must be connected to the battery so that this motor will, you know, start rotating. So let's see. Okay, so we connect them and then the motor will start rotating. Okay, this is perfect. So it says, what do you observe? What do you guys observe? That the motor, it is rotating like this, right? So it is rotating like this in one direction. Okay, and why the motor started to rotate? because when we connected it to the battery, the battery will send electrical current through the circuit. So electricity will be running through the circuit. And this is why the motor is turned on and it is rotating in this direction, just like that. Now it says reverse the connection wires on the battery. So I need to reverse these two. It means that the black wire, I will be connecting it to the positive pole and the red wire, I will be connecting it to the negative pole. What do you guys think will happen? Let's see. So I will be reversing and you guys can see the motor is still rotating, but now in the opposite direction. Okay, it was rotating this way at first, but now it is rotating in this direction. So in what sense does the motor now rotate? The motor rotates in the opposite direction. Okay, this means that the two poles that I have right here, they are not identical. Okay, so yeah. Let's complete the following. A battery has two extremities also called 
poles. The positive pole is labeled plus and the negative pole is labeled minus. The two poles of a battery are not identical. They are not the same or else the motor will be still rotating in the same direction even if we switched the connecting wires. Since they do not have the same effect, okay, so the motor was rotating in one direction and when we switched the connections, it started rotating in the other direction. So they have different effects. Okay, so what do we need to know about batteries? A battery, guys, or we can call it a dry cell, is a source of electrical current. So it sends electrical current in the circuit, and this is why the motor rotates. Okay, so it gives electricity to the circuit. A battery has two poles, the positive and the negative pole. The two poles of a battery are not identical, so they are not the same. Okay, so we've already learned about the incandescent lamp and we've already learned about the battery. So let's see how can we turn a lamp on. So we've already also learned that a battery is a source of electrical current, so it gives electricity. And definitely the lamp needs electricity to be turned on. So yeah, but let's see how can we connect it. Okay, so perform the experiment of the adjacent figure. So the experiment is basically connecting the lamp this way. And it will turn on. Okay, so would the lamp glow? What do you think, guys? Yeah, it just did. But let's look at how it is actually connected. Okay, so you can see the cap is connected to the positive pole of the battery. And you can see that the, you know, the cap and that the pad is connected to the negative pole of the battery. Okay, so the two extremities of the lamp are connected to the positive and to the negative pole. And this way the lamp, you know, it simply glows. Now, it says reverse the connections on the lamp. So instead of connecting it this way, I will be connecting it the other way, okay? Where the cap is connected to the negative pole of the battery and the pad is connected to the positive pole of the battery. Now, what do you observe? What do you think, guys? The lamp glows, okay? So we observe that the lamp also glows. Perform the experiment of figure uh, 7.5c, which is basically this one. So you guys can see that the pad right here, okay, it is connected to the positive pole of the dry cell or the battery. And the glass bulb, is connected to the negative. So the glass bulb, is it the extremity of a lamp? No, because the other extremity is the cap. And uh, yeah, so, you know, does the lamp glow? No, it does not. So what do you observe? We observe uh, that the lamp doesn't glow. Draw out a conclusion from experiments of from the previous experiments that we did. So you guys remember the first uh, two experiments that we did where we connected the pad to the positive pole and the cap to the negative pole. And then the other one, we connected the cap to the positive and the pad to the negative. Okay, and in both cases, the lamp did glow. Now, in the third case where we connected the glass bulb to the negative pole, the lamp didn't glow. So, we conclude that to turn on a lamp, okay, the cap 
and the pad, which are the two extremities of a lamp, must be connected to the positive and the negative poles of the battery. Now, guys, does it matter if I connected, let's say, the cap to the positive and the pad to the negative, or the cap to the negative and the pad to the positive? Um, I mean, did, did it change the result? Did the lamp, you know, started glowing in a different way? No, it doesn't matter, okay? As long as the two extremities of the lamp are connected to the two poles of the dry cell. Okay, guys, this is not the same as the case of the motor because the two extremities of the lamp that you have right here are actually identical, okay? And uh, it doesn't matter if you connected the first extremity to the positive and to the negative the second one to the negative okay so it doesn't matter now it says now link the two poles of the lamp to the two poles of the battery by using connecting wires so it is really like not so practical to bring this lamp and put it directly on the battery you know it's most probably we won't be able to get it, you know, 100% right. So to make things easier for us, we have something called connecting wires. So they are, they are wires that we can use that can help us with the connections, okay? So the first wire I will be connecting from the pad to the positive pole and the second one from the cap to the negative pole and you guys can do it the other way okay you can do from the pad to the negative pole and from the cap to the positive pole the same thing will happen the lamp will glow okay and even if we have the round battery it's the same thing from the positive pole to the cap from the negative pole to the pad and the lamp will glow. Now it says, would the lamp glow? Yes, yes, it would. Complete the following. A lamp glows when an electric current passes through it. So the battery is the source of electrical current and it will allow electric current to pass through this lamp and once it passes through the lamp the lamp will glow the lamp turns on when its two poles are in direct contact with the two poles of the battery the lamp also turns on when its poles are indirectly connected to the poles of a battery by using electrical wires so i can put the lamp directly in contact with the positive and negative pole and let it glow or i can connect it indirectly using connecting wires so a lamp glows whenever its poles are directly or indirectly via electrical connecting wires connected to the poles of the battery. So since we can go to the lab, to an actual lab, and try out this experiment and verify our results, we are going to use a simulation. Okay, so just click on this one and meet me at the electricity lab. It will open up to this page Okay, so first of all, I want you to turn off the show current. Okay, that's the first thing. And uh, then I want you to bring out a light bulb. Just simply click and drag. And to bring out a battery. Okay, and to connect them. How can I connect a light bulb with a battery? I take out a wire. I click on one end of the wire so, I, so that I can move it. And I'm going to connect the pad with the negative pole of the battery or the dry cell. And I'm going to take another wire and connect the cap with the positive pole of the dry cell. So you guys can see the lamp glows. And uh, this is the positive pole of the battery because this is the head. And this is the negative pole because this is the base. 
Okay, so it glows. And if you guys want to see the electric current flowing through the circuit, because we know that the battery is the source of, uh, you know, electricity in the circuit. So you can click on show current and click on conventional and you guys can see the current is flowing through the circuit. Okay, and turn it off. So another battery and another light bulb, but now I'm going to click on the battery and, you know, just reverse its poles just like that. So I will be connecting the cap with the negative pole of the battery and the pad with a positive pole and same thing happens the lamp glows okay and they are both identical so it is the same it doesn't matter if i connect the positive with the pad and the negative with the cap or the you know or vice versa it is the same okay and finally i'm gonna try to connect let's say the positive with the cap and let's say the negative with the light bulb, with the, sorry, with the glass bulb. Okay, it won't glow. How about if I connect it also with the cap again? It will not glow. How about with the filament? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that because the filament is inside the glass bulb. So the only way for it to light up is that if the two extremities... Okay, of the lamp, which are the cap and the pod connected to the positive and the negative terminals of the battery. Okay, so I want you guys to open this up and try different connections and see what works and what doesn't work. And if you guys want to see the current flowing through it, you can see it right here. Okay. And that is it. We're done with the first lecture in electrical circuits. I hope you guys found this interesting. I will be explaining everything in our live session. So uh, take care, study well, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.